Na mtazamaji tukiachana na taarifa hizo ni kwamba siku ishirini baada ya kuachiliwa huru na waliomteka nyara mwanaharakati Bob Njagi amepasua mbarika na kuelezea aliyomsibu mikononi mwao kwa muda wa siku 32. Njagi amesema kwamba muda huo wote hakuruhusiwa kutangamana na mtu na alikuwa akioga mara moja kwa wiki. Mwana harakati huwe sasa anasema ataishtaki serikali kwa iliyompata mkononi mwa watu na udai ni maafisa wa usalama. I was left on the floor handcuffed at the back and blindfolded for two days without food. Only some water. That was a... <coughs> Machozi yanamtiririka anapoelezea masaibu yake mikononi mwa watekaji nyara. Marafiki wakimfariji. Bob Njagi akiwa pamoja na wanaharakati wenzake alivunja kimya na kueleza namna alivyotekwa nyara na wanaume wanne kutoka kwa matatu tarehe 19 Agosti. The officers shoved me out of the bus forcefully while assault, assaulting me with kicks, blows, slaps, jacking me off my feet and carrying me shoulder high into the waiting car, an awaiting white car. Inside the white vehicle were five men, two in the front and three at the back. We drove for close to an hour while all the time I was assaulted until we came to a sudden stop. Hapa aliondolewa kutoka gari moja na kuwekwa ndani ya gari jingine na wakaendelea na safari hadi kule alikofichwa. I was whisked away into a building and ushered into a small and very dark room. It was the size of six feet by four feet. I was left on the floor handcuffed at the back and blindfolded for two days without food. Only some water that was administered occasionally by one of the men. Njagi anasema aliondolewa hapa baada ya siku tatu na kupelekwa chumba kingine ambapo alitolewa pingu alizofungwa mikono nyuma na kufungwa mbele. Anasema aliruhusiwa kuoga mara moja kwa wiki na kwamba alipoachiliwa alikabidhiwa shilingi nne kama nauli. The only human interaction I got was when the door would be opened twice a day. In the morning they would open and hand me a cup of tea while removing the waste bucket and replacing it with another one. During lunch hour I was served with a meal that would barely keep me alive. The food was unpalatable but I forced myself to eat in order to get some strength and to live to see another day hoping and praying that God would rescue me from this ordeal. Njagi anasema amewasamehe wale waliomteka nyara na kumtesa ila ataelekea mahakamani kushtaki serikali akidai fidia kwa yale aliyoyapitia. Watu ni nguvu, nguvu ni watu. Gatete njoroge, runinga ya citizen. Watu ni nani? Watu ni sisi. Watu ni nani?